the truth. A potential significant development, the North Korean delegation expressing willingness for a dialogue with the United States and also acknowledging that in order for relations between South Korea and North Korea to improve, that they also need to improve their relationship with the United States. This is a pretty dramatic shift from North Korea's tone, even in their state media just within the past few hours. Uh, today they put out an article threatening the United States with grave consequences over the new round of sanctions, the heaviest sanctions ever imposed by the Trump administration administration calling those sanctions tantamount to an act of war. But apparently the North Koreans who are on the ground here uh, are now acknowledging that talks with the United States will be crucial if they are going to actually move forward with their goal of easing tensions on the Korean Peninsula. Now, obviously, there are a lot of major issues that divide the United States and South Korea and North Korea and its leader Kim Jong Un, the biggest one of all, North Korea's nuclear program. North Korea has repeatedly and consistently said that they will not give up their nuclear weapons despite sanctions or diplomatic or even military pressure. However, they are at least saying uh, for the time being now that they are willing to have discussions. Um, we also saw the first images coming out of the opening ceremonies. Ivanka Trump was in the VIP box as expected with the North Korean delegation led by North Korea's former spy master Kim Yong-chol. He was just one row and a few seats behind her to her left. There was no visible interaction between the two. We don't know if there was any behind the scenes interaction between the U.S. delegation and the North Korean delegation, although we do know that the North Korean did send one official who is in charge got one two three four five six seven eight m's in my back